to remember, honor, and teach. That is the purpose of the National Reads Across America Day. And today, people all across the country gather to remember remember all of our veterans who've uh, survived and now have passed, including right here in the upstate. And our photojournalist Ashton Frazier takes us to Woodlawn Memorial Park Cemetery, where nearly 3,000 wreaths were placed on the graves of our veterans. We have over 4,000 veterans that are buried here in our park. We are out here to, you know, to be sure that everybody that is buried here has a wreath placed on their, on their grave, and we wanted to remember, honor them out here. We have a service, a presentation of the flags from the different armed services. Oh, say can you see? Uh, after that service, then there's a charge to those participants that are here. And with that charge, each of the participants that were here went out and they would take a wreath out of the box. And then they would walk up to the veteran's grave. They would state the veteran's name. And they would place the wreath on the grave. Of the As I walk through the cemetery watching people laying the reeds, watching the children out here laying the reeds, um, it's, it's a very emotional thing. Remember, honor, and teach, that's the kind of the motto of, of Reeds Across America. And the teach part is bringing the children out here, teaching them you know, how, to, how to honor these, these veterans that are buried here. And it's just a great event to honor those who have served us and who are serving us. And we want just to continue that tradition of, of remembering and teaching and honoring the ones who have given so much for us. Well, several of us from Fox Carolina were also out there laying wreaths at this special ceremony today. This is something that is honestly very near and dear to our hearts. I know we've been talking about this for the last couple weeks, but as you heard, there are roughly 4,000 veterans within Woodlawn Memorial Park Cemetery. And with your generosity, uh, almost every single veteran was able to get a wreath placed on their grave.